Chickens are considered one of the dumbest creatures on the planet. But they can also act as saviors. An ordinary girl, Maria Isabel Quaresma dos Santos, was born in 1970 on a farm in the Portuguese village of Tabua near the city of Coimbra. The baby was in good health. But not all was well with her mother's psyche, which was later confirmed by doctors. Until she was a year old, the woman somehow took care of the child, and then she took her daughter to the chicken coop and abandoned her there. For the next 10 years, when girls grow up, learn about the world, about themselves, and enjoy the usual girlish delights dolls, books, dresses, Maria fought for life every day. She literally ate pasture grain, grass, scraps that people threw into the chicken coop. At the same time, the older brothers of the unfortunate girl grew up as ordinary children and went to school. Other relatives and neighbors, knowing full well about the situation, remained silent, made no attempts to save the child, and adhered to the principle it's none of my business. A ghostly chance first appeared six years later, when one of Maria's aunts had a spark of conscience. She put pressure on the parents and forced them to show the girl to the doctor for the first time in her entire life. He immediately said that Maria was deeply disabled. But ordinary medical institutions refused to take her, and there were no specialized psychiatric clinics in the outback. And the unfortunate woman was returned to the chicken coop. In 1980, the story of a chicken girl, a weak-minded child whom the family kept in a barn, reached the ears of one of the nurses at the hospital de Torres Vedras. Maria Bihau rushed to the village and took the girl. She spent two weeks at home with her savior. Being a doctor, Bihau realized that the girl was deeply ill and needed specialized treatment. I contacted the press and asked for help. The then First Lady of Portugal, Manuela Eanes, played a special role in the fate of the chicken coop girl. She became imbued with the fate of the child, who had suffered so many trials in his short life, and achieved placement in the best rehabilitation center in the country. The doctors who observed Maria agreed that the cause of mental retardation was the so-called social orphanhood zero human communication, plus behavior based on instincts. The behavior of Maria, who completely adopted the habits of her feathered neighbor educators, looked shocking. She moved in short steps, constantly flapping her arms like wings. The girl could not speak, but showed her emotions by cackling. Outwardly, Dos Santos looked like a febrile child, and her intellectual level of development corresponded to a maximum of two years of age. Despite the efforts of doctors and psychologists, she was never able to master speech. But at least I learned to walk like a person, without crouching every minute and without spreading my arms to the sides. The woman learned to show her desires or reluctances with gestures. Now the chicken girl is over 50. She lives in a rehabilitation center in Fatima. The staff carefully protects the unusual patient from the attention of the press, who dreams of getting a sensation or at least taking a photo of Maria. History amazes with the callousness and indifference that distorted human life. Even the stupid chickens, who in their own way protected the strange foundling, showed themselves to be much more noble creatures in comparison with the people around the girl. We remind you, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like. See you in the next video.